Hi everybody, it's Mr. Brigatti again. I'm gonna do another drawing lesson. I apologize, I haven't done one in a while. I know we've got pretty um, involved with those and I really enjoyed seeing the things you guys drew and it's kind of a break from all the other stuff. So I, I got my stuff together, got my act together and I'm gonna do a simple one. I try to keep them simple but realistic. We're going to do a piece of rope. Okay, it's got a really simple pattern that you follow and it comes out looking really sharp and real, realistic. Okay, so meet me at the drawing table. All right, here we are. Um, so a piece of rope, we're gonna start by just making the shape and you know, it's not perfectly straight, it curves a little bit. It's got a little wooby to it, right? So let's just make our line. Now I've got a pretty sharp pencil. You're going to want a nice tip on your pencil to do this. There's some fine lines involved here. So I'm just going to make this little rope wooby, you know, it's maybe an inch wide, maybe maybe a little less. And it's going away from me. You notice it gets a tiny bit uh, thinner at the top than it is at the bottom. Just a scooch, right? So there's our shape. Simple. Now we're going to make diagonal lines. You know how rope is braided, right? So try to keep a pretty consistent size, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, nothing in nature is perfect. And even though this rope is probably braided by a machine, it's not perfect. Now also as I'm going away, they might get the um, illusion that they're getting closer together because it's getting further away. So notice how this distance is a little less than the distance I had here. Okay. Now, the braids of the rope are rounded. Okay. So when I start here, I'm going to make this shape. It kind of looks like this. It's going to kind of be this. Okay. See what I'm doing here? I'm doing that for each part of the rope. So I'm going to come... Boom. Go to the next one. It's rounded. Okay, I'm picturing the braids of this rope. And don't worry if you're not exactly on the lines that you made. All that's going to be, get buried in the shading. Okay, my whole point here in these drawings is to teach you about value. Okay, as we change values and make things darker and lighter, that's what gives the illusion of reality. Okay, we trick the mind. We trick the eye into thinking what it sees on a two-dimensional paper is a three-dimensional object. It's like magic. Art is magic. And it's soothing, relaxing. Okay, I'll do this bottom one here. Okay, done? You want to quit there? I hope not. Come on. We're better than this. So here comes the shading and the value. So the darkest parts are going to be in these corners, okay? Near these lines here because we picture the curve being like this, curves up and around, and this. So there's really two curves going on here. So we start in the corner and it's just we're flicking it, okay? We did this before. I forget where. Was it um, the eyelashes? When we're doing the eyes where we flick and then it kind of thins out as we lift our pencil off the paper. I'm exaggerating, but it's over up. Flick. Okay? And we're going to leave a little bit of light in the middle, a little highlight. A couple of the lines could go all the way, but the darkest part in the corner here. Flick, flick, flick. See that? Flick, flick. And as we do this going to give the illusion of form, the illusion of three dimensions in two-dimensional space. Blows your mind, I know, right? Blows your mind. So this now becomes kind of repetitive. I wish I was more savvy with the camera. I could speed this um, process up, but whatever. I'm in no hurry. Right? Got nowhere else to go. So I'm going to stay in the corners, come out flicking, flick, flick, flick. 
we do want to make sure that along the edge here it is the darkest and in the corner it is the darkest we do want a bit of a value change not just goes from gray to white gray to white the change of the value is what gives an object the appearance that it is curved no joke right no joke Anyone doing anything else interesting while you're stuck home? You learn anything new? Oh, you did some baking? That's cool. This is Brigadi and Madison made um, a cookie cake yesterday. I'm doing something different. I'm keeping a dream journal. Every morning I wake up, first thing I do, well, First thing I do is take care of the dog. She's got to use the potty and she's got to eat or she won't let me settle. So I say hello to the pup, take care of her. Then I go to my computer and start typing what I dreamt the night before. It's interesting. I, th I think dreams really are an important part of our mind and can teach us about ourselves. It's hard to know what they mean. You know, sometimes you just... I dreamed about some of the um, bad guys from Lego Batman movie. Because at dinner we were talking about who our favorite... We played categories and we're talking about who our favorite um, bad guy in a movie is. It's kind of an interesting category. It got us really talking and discussing. Oh, look at that. Already that looks pretty cool. Dude. Now you can imagine if we made this shape and, and turned it, you know, made, made it like loop around against itself. Oh, that would be cool too. So I do encourage you. Now I'm just going to go back and make sure the edges of this are the darkest. Okay. I'm just going to clean up the value change. Make sure you know it's a little bit darker also in the, in the creases in the middle. That part should also be dark. Okay. If I left any... Light spots. Now the highlight we see going right down the middle of the rope. Okay, see how important it is to leave that highlight? All right, so there's your rope. Give this a try. And like I say, you don't have to do it the exact same shape I just did it. You know, give it a little curve. Now it's going to be interesting if you give it a curve. And I'll show you this just in case you want to try it. If you do give it a curve, the um, diagonals are going to get messed up on you if you're not paying close attention, okay? Because if we're doing diagonals like this, I can't just keep going the same direction because I wind up making straight lines across. So as we come out, those sections of the rope will start pointing back in toward the middle and then come out the other side. And actually, you notice now the... Um, Diagonal is going the opposite way. So if you do try this, you can use the same technique. Okay, but the outer side is going to be thicker than the inside. Okay, maybe I'll try to do a cool one. You know what else would be really cool is if um, you showed the rope tied in a knot and all the different directions these little things would be going okay so we just took what we considered a pretty simple project and we can make that a lot more complicated by doing curves and other things with it all right give this a try i i'd love to see your work please post it for me bye